Odin must have convinced him that following you to okay. Jotunheim would bring his cure. Lies, okay. I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe make this go? Vanir magic is powerful, but it is a way of losing. I'm sure it makes sense if you have a whip. Uh, can I actually buy it of here? Yeah, I'm on. I'm on. Bloody tragic. I'm on the boat. Alder was the greatest gift Odin granted Freya, but the one thing she treasured from their marriage. She only hoped to spare him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. Might as well take the boat since this is gonna be the last time. I can't believe Odin and Freya were ever married. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother uh, was yeah, the giantess right. Jorgun, one of Odin's great loves. So Thor's half god and half giant? Wait. Once Jorgun was gone, lonely ages passed. And as war with the Vanir raged, I could see what he really wanted in his bluster. And after no small amount of convincing, they are agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. He granted us so many wishes, I can scarcely recall them all. The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. Uh, Odin's nice. true face showed itself again in the end. But he won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly, despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. Oh yeah, we still got to them, haven't we? Right about that. I'm gonna need the bridge to the uh, turn. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. ones to be actually need. So we got that one. Got the one down there. We need that one over there. That one over there. I think that one over there. I thought I could drop down then. Um let's see if I can I can't let's have a look. Bear with me two secs. Yeah, I need that one over there as well. Okay. Well, saw that out from time. I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. When you're smart, uh, you'll find him. I need to hack. So I've got the still. I just hack silver and eight. For you? Okay, so I recommend selling something. Uh, they've almost locked, so it's. No, that's fine. It's. it's blades I need. So I, uh, no, wrong button. No, wrong button again. Uh, blades cast. What I need. House flame. Raging phone number so fine. Ah, poo poo. Moving on then. Yeah, I'll try to load another time as well. Here we go. I can't believe we're going to see 
the giant. Well, if things work according to plan, <coughs> go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Probably. Karaheim, Jotunheim. Boy, ahead. Get ready. Oh, right. Got him. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, haven't considered that. <laughs> Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Oh, no, too late. I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready. Oh, that's unpleasant. Now, boy. A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone wants to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh, huh. no. <laughs> no, 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 Fine, damn it, fine. Well, you did Watch say to be left behind. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come. That was very, uh. <laughs> I'd say that was very, uh. What's the word I'm after, yeah? That word's gone, but. <laughs> the door shut and followed by the words of. Oh, I've got some stuff I want to do to you. So, not, not going very well down there for uh, our head friend. Hold up, boy. How can't jog as quick as you? Look! We're on the giant's fingers! I can see the highest peak ahead! Right over there! We did it! We did. What are you doing? Nothing more to hide. Can we go now? <gasps> We're so close. Right in the moment, kid. Boy. Oh, 
Almost there. Hmm. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? Anybody here? Pretty certain they all dead, boy. What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Oh, uh... Odin and Thor, ruining everything for everybody. Nice place, though. I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. Wait! Father! Something's happening! arguing with a bunch of giants. She... knew giants? That's us! The first time we met the world serpent. But how? And our fight with Baldur! But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. Why not just tell us the truth? Your mother would have had good reasons. Baldur was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Here, boy. Look, it's mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us, watching over us, leading us home. Let's finish it. Come on, then. Here you go. You're coming up. Come on. There you are, come on. Almost there.
Up and over. The giants, they really are all gone. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. I guess it all makes sense now. Why she want to end up here? You with her kind? But, did she know it was gonna be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I... do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So, why'd you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We train from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. And we missed it. All right, we're gonna go get him now. Down the bottom of here. I understand 
understand if you want to go home. But I bet there are still some corrupt developers out there that could be set free. Some other help people. Maybe helping people was part of why Mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Lads, am I glad to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? Those dwarfs. There's a lot we can do. I may do it in bonus one because I kind of want to move on to another game. I've been playing this for quite some time now. We'll see how I'll be after I've done what I'm going to do next because obviously people really like to play this. Now this game's got one last hidden uh, agenda before we can call it quits. So next time we're going to deal with that. I'm going to see if I can do the fucking. The other players, but I'll see. Uh, yeah, the journey may have ended there, but the, one more final step before it's not fully over for the fact there's still Valkyries and shit to do. <laughs> but you get my point, so uh, we'll move on to that next time then.